Good morning, students. So in the previous class, we had dealt with counseling. So we had seen what is counseling, what are the things like what is counseling, what are the different approaches, what are the objectives, uh, what are the science, like uh, what are the objectives as well as what are the approaches and what are the stages, what are the techniques, what are the uh, role of counselor. So all these things we have dealt in counseling. So now we'll start with the next unit of this health education that is methods and media of health education. So you all know what is health education also like Rajya Ma'am has already taken you all so you can go through that or refer that health education. So what is health education? So now in this unit or in this video I will be dealing with methods and media of health education. So we have studied the counseling in the last class about what is counseling, what are the objectives, what are the stages, what are the techniques, what are the counseling role. ये सब अप्रोचेस क्या है ये सब कुछ हम लोगों ने काउंसलिंग में पढ़ा था तो आज इस वीडियो में मैं हेल्थ एजुकेशन का अगला यूनिट दैट इज मेथड्स एंड मीडिया ऑफ हेल्थ एजुकेशन पढ़ाऊंगी हेल्थ एजुकेशन होता क्या है आप लोगों को सब पता होगा क्योंकि राजी मैम ने ऑलरेडी पढ़ाया पढ़ाया है आप लोगों को तो आप लोग जस्ट वो रेफर कर लेना सो दैट इज यूजली अबाउट दिस लाइक यूनिट सो आई विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ हेल्थ एजुकेशन मीडिया ऑफ हेल्थ एजुकेशन सो इन दिस यूजली दे आर डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ हेल्थ एजुकेशन so in that we'll see one by one what is the different methods of health education. So first we'll see what are the different methods of health education. After that we'll see what are the media of health education. So in that first is methods of health education. In that first method it is lecture method. So lecture method it is nothing but the normal thing like classes like way the way we take class that is also a lecture method where teacher will be taking classes and you all will be listening. So same be here also. In health education also we can use this lecture method. So in this method the facts and the thoughts that has to be given, okay, the thoughts and facts that has to be shared that can be given through uh, lecture method and they are usually the person who give this health uh, education through lecture method is usually known as health educator, okay, health educator. So in this usually what happens, the health educator can make use of this lecture method for giving out facts and thoughts, okay, for giving out facts and thoughts. So that is usually there. So this lecture method mainly depends on certain factors with, with, in order to make this effective. So that is health educators ability to speak and write appropriately and legibly. Okay, health educators, uh, let, like they are able to, they should speak properly, they should write properly. So all this it usually depends. So next, that is usually there. And the next, the health educator should give the lecture in a comprehensive manner. Okay, the health educator should give the lecture in a comprehensive manner. So that by making use of AV aids, okay, by making use of AV aids, so that is usually there. Then health education should clarify the concept which is there, okay. So what are the doubts or what are the things that has been involved or if he has to clarify certain things, he should clarify the concept with the help of examples, okay. He should clarify the concept with the help of examples. So that is usually about this. I think that is usually a health educator should keep in mind when they are giving this health education. So what is this? The methods of, I will be dealing with methods of health education. So in this, the first is lecture method. So in this usually the normal thing like the normal like lecture method which has been taken in the classroom teaching like, like teachers will be discussing and students will be listening. So this is usually the lecture method that is actually one way communication. So here also the facts and the thought that has to be communicated, that has to be told to the individuals. So that is usually being given by a qualified person that is health educator. So there are certain things a health educator should require in order to make the lecture method effective. The health educator should speak properly, write properly. Then the health educator should make a comprehensive manner by making use of AV aids or by using AV aids. And then the lecture health educator should clarify the concept with the help of examples. So it is usually there. तो हम लोगों को यहाँ पे मतलब मेथड्स पढ़ाया जा मतलब पढ़ा रही हूँ जिसमें पहला हो गया लेक्चर मेथड लेक्चर मेथड वो होता है जैसे कि क्लासरूम में टीचर बोलती है और स्टूडेंट्स सुनते हैं ना तो वो एक तरह का लेक्चर मेथड ही होता है तो ये हम लोग हेल्थ एजुकेशन में भी यूज़ कर सकते हैं हम लोग ये मेथड हेल्थ एजुकेशन में भी यूज़ कर सकते हैं तो ये जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन और जो भी फैक्ट्स हम लोगों को जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन हम लोगों को पास करना है वो एक क्वालिफाइड पर्सन मतलब एक अच्छा जानकारी रखने वाला इंसान बंदा ये हेल्थ लेक्चर मेथड दिखता देता है हेल्थ एजुकेशन में उसको हम बोल उसको बोलते हैं हम लोग हेल्थ एजुकेटर तो अगर हम लोगों को हेल्थ लेक्चर मेथड अगर हम लोगों को सक्सेसफुल बनाना है लेक्चर मेथड अगर हम लोगों को सक्सेसफुल बनाना है तो कुछ कौन कुछ ये होता है जो कुछ चीज़ें होती हैं जो हम लोगों को याद रखना है कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट होते हैं जो हम लोगों को याद रखना है जैसे कि हेल्थ एजुकेटर अच्छे से बातें करना है उसको बातें करना है मतलब जो इन्फॉर्मेशन पास करना है उसको रखने का काबिलियत होना है और अच्छे से लिखना है ताकि जो भी उसको बोलना है जो भी उसको पास करना है वो उसको आराम से लिख सकता है तो वो बन वो करना है उसके बाद दूसरा हो गया मतलब दूसरा हो गया जैसे कि उसको जो भी वो 
दे रहा है ओके जो भी हेल्थ एजुकेशन वो दे रहा है वो एक अच्छे से देना है ए बी यूथ ए बी एच को यूज़ करके ए बी एच क्या होता है मैं जैसे मतलब नेक्स्ट पढ़ाऊँगी आप लोगों को तो ए बी एच यूज़ करके उनको हेल्थ एजुकेशन देना है और जो भी वो दे रहा है ओके जो भी हेल्थ एजुकेशन वो दे रहा है जो भी कॉन्सेप्ट वो दे रहा है वो एग्जाम्पल उदाहरण दे के करना है मतलब एग्जाम्पल्स को दे के ही उन लोगों को समझाना है सो दैट इज यूशली द थिंग दैट इज यूशली इन ऑर्डर टू मेक इट इफेक्टिव सो दे रिक्वायर दिस सो दिस इज टेक्चिंग टेक्निक्स ऑफ लेक्चरिंग ओके टेक्निक्स ऑफ लेक्चरिंग सो इट शुड भी ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ रूम ओके दिस लेक्चरिंग मैथड शुड भी ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ रूम इट माई बी लाइक सी एच सी पी एच सी और सब सेंटर वेर एवर इट इज बिन ऑर्गेनाइज इट शुड भी ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ रूम एंड मेक द कम्युनिटी पीपल टू रीच आउट देर ओके मेक द कम्युनिटी पीपल टू रीच आउट देर देन वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर हेल्थ एजुकेशन प्लान ऑन द टॉपिक ओके वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर द टॉपिक हेल्थ एजुकेशन प्लान ऑन द टॉपिक सो विच ऑवर द प्लान टॉपिक दैट वी हैव टू गिव हेल्थ एजुकेशन सो दैट टॉपिक शुड भी दिस प्लान सो दैट इज टू बी दैन देन हेल्थ एजुकेशन शुड स्टार्ट विथ सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन ओके हेल्थ एजुकेशन शुड बी स्टार्टिंग विथ सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन इफ पीपल डजन नो यू ओके इफ पीपल डजन नो यू देन यू हैव टू गिव यूर सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन सो दट इज यूजली दैट देन रिवाइज द नॉलेज ऑफ द प्रीवियस रिलेटेड टू टॉपिक रिवाइज योर प्रीवियस नॉलेज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक सो दैट इज यूजली दैन एंड मेक सी दैट द पीपल आर मेंटेनिंग आई टू आई कॉन्टैक्ट ओके सी दैट द पीपल आर मेंटेनिंग आई टू आई कॉन्टैक्ट एंड दे शुड भी गिवन फ्रीली टू टॉक और टू डिस्कस एवरीथिंग शुड भी गिवन फ्री so that is usually then then avoid looking out here and there okay so when you are giving health education okay when you are giving health education observe the person only or observe the people only don't see here and there okay don't see here and there you should not see anywhere else okay you should not see anywhere else and important thing is that we have to clarify the content okay we have to clarify the content with the help of example so okay, with the help of examples as well as by using abas as well as so these are the things that has to be done so this is usually about this technique of lecturing method so what are the different techniques of lecturing method it should be organized in a room and we have to make the community people to gather in that room then we have to prepare health education plan then we have to go with self introduction if the people doesn't know you then we have to revise the previous knowledge related to the topic then we have to freely conversation should be done as well as we have to maintain eye contact with the people then we should not see unnecessary we should not see anywhere else and then we have to clarify the concept by using the example so this is usually about this lecture method so lecture method can also be used in education health education where health educator will clarify the facts and uh, facts and information by using this lecture method so ye ho gaya lecture method jahan pe un logon ko मतलब लेक्चर मेथड में जहाँ पे वो लोगों को रूम में ऑर्गेनाइज करना है कम्युनिटी पीपल को वहाँ पे बुलाना है सेल्फ इंट्रोडक्शन देना है खुद से प्रिपेयर होना है प्लान बनाना है और उसके बाद जो भी आई कांटेक्ट मेंटेन करने हम लोगों को उन्हीं को देख के हेल्थ एजुकेशन देना है इधर उधर नहीं देखना है ऐसे यहाँ देखना वहाँ देखना ये सब कुछ नहीं करना है और जो भी कॉन्सेप्ट हम लोगों को क्लैरिफाई करना है वो एग्जाम्पल्स देख के करना है सो दिस इज यूजली अबाउट दिस लेक्चरिंग मैथड सो नेक्स्ट इज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन सो वट इज इज डेमॉन्स्ट सेकेंड मैथड इज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन सो वट इज इज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन so in this usually what happen it the health educator here also the health educator along with lecturing method they also perform or they show a particular skill okay they show a particular particular skill or procedure will be perform okay they will be performing a procedure okay they will be performing a procedure or they will be using a skill okay they will be performing a procedure or they will be using like they will be demonstrating a particular skill so what are the techniques of demonstration first we have to plan the procedure what has to be demonstrated okay what has to be demonstrated that has to be planned then next is we have to arrange the articles that is to be that is required to performing the demonstration then see that the articles are at good working condition okay, the articles should be at good working condition then we have to proceed okay demonstration should be observed like part by part okay so that is usually it should be explained briefly part by part so that is usually there so ensure that each step is performed properly okay we have to ensure that each step is performed properly okay so that has to be done in between the demonstration we can ask questions also okay in between the demonstration we can ask questions or we can encourage the people to ask questions okay we can encourage the people to ask quest uh, ask questions so that is usually there on completion of the demonstration we have to summarize replace the articles and demon like replace the articles so that is usually about this demonstration so demonstration is also one of the method of health education where health education health educator will be performing certain procedure or will be performing certain skills so what are the techniques that is involved in demonstration is that first we have to select the procedure that has to be performed then we have to arrange the articles see that the articles are at a good working condition then they have to proceed from part by part each part should be explained properly or demonstrated properly 
then we have to see that each step has been performed properly then we have to ask questions in between or we have to encourage the people to ask questions in between then after the procedure we have to after the demonstration we have to replace the articles and we have to summarize the procedure so that is usually about this demonstration so demonstration is nothing but where health educator will perform certain skills or procedure okay perform certain skills or procedures like what are the fundamental topics that is there okay so like giving injection everything we cannot go through lecture method so where we will be making use of this demonstration method okay where we will be making use of this demonstration method so here is similarly in community when you are giving health education you can use this method also that is demonstration method where you can perform certain procedure like cooking demonstration cooking demonstration can be done okay so like when you are like when you have to give diet like when you have to ask them to prepare good healthy diet for pregnant women so that time you can demonstrate and show like what are the things that is required how much it is required for like diabetic food okay so what are the things that is required so that can be shown by through this demonstration method so that is usually about this uh, that is usually about this uh, demonstration method so next is discussion method okay the next is discussion method so discussion you all know that is usually interaction between the people okay it is just interaction between the people where a per topic will be selected and that on that topic they'll be having discussion between the people okay they'll be having discussion between the people so like we'll be understanding what are the thought what is the thought of that people regarding that particular topic okay what is their thought or what they think about the disease or what are the thing that they should then so it is normally here they'll be having exchange of information okay so they'll be having exchange of information so that is usually about this discussion technique so discussion technique it is nothing but a topic will be selected and there'll be interaction between the public and the health educator okay there'll be interaction between the public and health educator so that can be formal or informal okay it can be formal or informal so it is usually about this discussion method so next is seminar seminar it is usually where it is an organized way of teaching the community people okay seminar is nothing but a organized way of teaching in the community in the same language okay in the same language like for example in the bangalore when you are coming like when you are going for the postings and when they are asked to give you health education here so this seminar can be used only when you are giving them in the same language or in the college if you give seminar in like in college if you want if you are organize some seminar so it should be given in english only if at all if you are giving in bengali or any other language it will not be so successful so therefore similarly if seminar has to be used in the community for giving health education so that should be used in the same language so that is usually about this thing in which the community when you are giving seminar so that the community can be community people can understand okay community people can understand so that is usually seminar so seminar it is usually an organized way to teach community people okay organized way to teach community people but the teaching whatever it has been given to the community people it will be given in their own language so that is seminar so next is symposium uh, symposium so symposium it is usually a discussion method okay symposium is also a discussion uh, discussion method where different view points will be given on a single topic okay where a different view points will be given on a single topic so symposium it is also a discussion method in which different view points is given on a single topic so that is usually about the symposium okay that is usually about the symposium so where in the symposium so like compared to discussion method chairman and all will not be there in the discussion method whereas in symposium the chairman will be there who will be organizing the symposium okay will be organizing this symposium and they'll be having some time limit okay they'll be having some time limit in this symposium so symposium it is usually a discussion method where different view points will be given on a single topic chairman will be organizing the chairman will be there a chair uh, like chairman will be there so who will be having control over the speakers so will be having control over the speakers so that is usually about this symposium so next is panel discussion so panel discussion in which eight qualified personnel okay in which eight qualified personnel sit and discuss about the topic okay so panel discussion it is nothing but in which eight qualified person will be sitting and discussing about the topic in front of a large community people okay they'll be having a large community people and eight panel members will be sitting on the stage so they'll be discussing about the topic okay they'll be discussing about this topic so that is usually about this and this eight this eight members who are there they are usually speaker so that is usually about this panel discussion so next is role play so role play it is nothing but a socio drama or they'll be having a act okay they'll be performing an act related to a topic okay related to a topic so this is mainly done to pro solve personal problems okay this is mainly done to solve personal problems so that is usually about this role 
play so role play it is nothing but where they'll be enacting okay where they'll be performing a drama okay they'll be performing a drama so this is related to some topic and this usually solves the personal problems okay? this usually solves the personal problem so these are usually the methods of health education so that is lecturing method demonstration method discussion method uh, role play panel discussion symposium so all these are the different methods of health education where health educator can use this methods to give uh, to pass the information to the community people okay pass the information to the community people so this is about this methods of health education so next is media of health education so media of health education mainly it includes av aids that is audio visual aids okay that is usually audio visual aids so media of health education is nothing but that is audio visual aids so that is usually definition so according to kinder s james okay so the definition was usually given by according to kinder s james so according to him audio visual aids are any device which are used to make learning experience more realistic and more dynamic so according to kinder s james he defined that audio visual aids are those aids which makes the learning more realistic and dynamic okay which makes the more, uh, learning more realistic and dynamic rather than talking to you all like rather than teaching to you all like this if i show some av aids or if i use make use of some pictures make use of some uh, draw like such type of things if i make use and teach you so that will be there in your mind for sure and you feel that it is real teaching okay it is feel that it is real teaching for example so it is usually about this avh like avh according to kindit s james so audio visual aids are very uh, like are any devices that are used to make learning more realistic and more dynamic so it is usually about this definition of avh okay that is usually about this definition of avh now we'll see what are the different types of avh so different types of avh it might be like television radio computers so that is usually about the video set so these are usually the different avs that is television radio vcr films camera so all these things are the different avs so we'll see one by one what are the different avs that has been used in giving health education so the first thing is blackboard okay the first thing it is blackboard so it is blackboard so blackboard it is usually a reusable writing surface okay it is usually a reusable writing surface so where we use make use of chalk pieces okay where we use make use of chalk pieces for writing on the board so when we are teaching you all along with this if we are writing on the board you will be easy to get right you will know about the spelling what we are telling so what actually we have told everything if we write on the board you will be able to understand the so same way if you are making use of this black board so people will be able to understand easily so it is usually about this a blackboard it is nothing but reusable uh, it is usually a reusable surface writing surface it is usually a reusable writing surface where we make use of chalk pieces to write so in, when we are using this blackboard it will be clear for the individuals what actually we are telling okay what exactly we are telling so it is usually about this thing so there are different types of blackboard okay there are different types of blackboard so in that first is fixed blackboard okay in that first is flick blackboard so this is usually fixed on the wall the same way like in your classes which is there so that is fixed blackboard which has been fixed on the wall okay which has been fixed on the wall so that is usually about this fixed blackboard so next is blackboard on sl okay blackboard on sl so it is portable okay it is usually portable where it has been put on the wooden plank okay where it has been put on the wooden plank so this can be shifted from one class you have seen that which where we will roll it and we'll carry it so that can be placed on the wooden planks that is usually about this blackboard on sl that we can carry from place one place to other place so that is usually about this thing so next is rural roller blackboard okay rural blackboard so this is usually made up of canvas material okay this is made up of canvas material so that can be wrapped or rolled okay that can be wrapped or rolled so that is rural blackboard so this is graphic blackboard so this type of graphic blackboard which has graphic lines okay where we can deal with statistics okay where we can show some statistical teachings can be easy in this graphical blackboard so where it has been filled with lines so statistical teaching will be easy in this type of blackboard so it is usually about this 
types of blackboard fixed blackboard which has been fixed on the wall Mag then uh, blackboard on sl which is usually fixed on the roll on the wooden plate that can be carried from one place to other place rural blackboard which is made up of canvas this can be rolled and it can be used and then it has been graphic board which is having lines graphic lines which is used for teaching statistics so it is usually about this uh, types of blackboard so there are certain guidelines to use this blackboard so first we have to clean the blackboard cleanly so that no mark will be there it has been cleaned properly okay it has been cleaned properly so that is usually there then uh, so that whatever we are writing you will not have any glare you can read it properly then when you are writing don't speak okay when you are writing don't don't speak when you are writing on the blackboard okay when you are writing on the blackboard then it should be neatly written don't overcrowd it make some areas make some lines draw some lines so that we can make it cleanly it should not be overcrowded but it, the space should not be filled properly so that the people you what you are writing the people will be able to understand so it is usually about this guidelines which has been used for using this blackboard so what are the guidelines that is usually used so mainly it includes like we have to first clean the blackboard properly use it properly like before clean before using it clean the blackboard properly so glare is not there write whatever is required don't overcrowd in the blackboard so that it creates confusion to the people so it is usually about this uh, guidelines that is for using blackboard so this is advantages of this blackboard so advantages of this blackboard it is usually the simple so it is usually the simplicity so that is we can write whatever the required key points are